you know, now with all this nice weather ahead of us, it's hard to believe that literally two days ago we were talking about snow. That's right, Daniel. Finally back to springtime. Near 80 degrees coming this weekend. Looking good, at least to start things off. However, that does mean we get some more moisture into the pattern as well. So what we can expect is a nice day for your Saturday tomorrow to get us started. Light winds out there. In fact, southerly winds to bring in comfortable temperatures. But then Sunday is when we get some more moisture into the weather. A warm front comes in from the south. That does increase our opportunities for showers and perhaps a thunderstorm. At this point, earlier in the day, we could expect a few of those. And some could be a little bit gusty as well. But definitely Saturday looking to be the drier of the two days coming up. And on our radar on Saturday right now, pleasant conditions. A lot of sunshine out there and temperatures into the 70s on your Friday, which is right now looking really good outside with the conditions. Now, here's what we have on the map. A warm front position down into the southern part of the country. Arkansas, Oklahoma, that warm front will start to push towards us in the coming days, and that has high pressure for tomorrow, bringing us the nice weather. The warm front starts to push towards us, and that does mean some more moisture. That's an opportunity for some showers on Sunday, maybe even a few thunderstorms, and they could be gusty at times with that activity. So for the rest of tonight, very pleasant conditions, partly cloudy skies, mostly high cloud cover, so perfect view of the full moon this evening. But then notice by the morning, a chilly start. Without a lot of cloud cover in the sky, could have a little bit of valley fog, temperatures in the 40s. A quick cool down will be followed by a quick warm up as well. Saturday looking nice, mostly sunny skies by the afternoon. Perhaps a spotty shower into the coal fields or into southeast Kentucky late afternoon, early evening tomorrow. But aside from that, things look really good outside. And then for Sunday, notice the temperatures start to rise into the morning. And that does mean an increase in some showers and perhaps a few thunderstorms, which could have some gusty winds. Now, the timing of this warm front pushing forward will mean a lot as to the exact strength and intensity of the thunderstorms. At this point, one or two of them may have some gusty winds or some small hail. But then as we get later in the afternoon, we get some more activity coming in from the north and heading to the south. So Sunday looking to be a little bit unsettled and also pretty sticky outside with temperatures upper 70s, a lot of moisture into the air. So that means a marginal risk of severe weather into southeast Ohio and some of our northwestern counties of West Virginia. And at this point, you can see that we do have the opportunity for maybe some 60 mile an hour winds with one or two of the thunderstorms and some small hail as well at this point. A nice cool evening in store for us. Dry conditions, easterly winds, and also pretty nice out there in addition with just a little bit of cloud cover. Kite Festival tomorrow in Charleston here as those temperatures get around 80 degrees by the end of it. Not too windy, but there'll definitely be just enough wind out there. You'll be able to feel it. And again, not super gusty. Seven, eight mile an hour wind gusts here at this point, but that's enough that you can feel the wind coming at you, which I think will be enough to get a heavy kite in the air there on your Saturday, which looks pretty good out there. So on our seven day forecast, notice that as we head into next week, we still maintain some sticky conditions. A chance of showers and thunderstorms there on Monday, 70s and 80s in the next week, which is really nice. Partly cloudy skies there on Wednesday. So some opportunities for dryness. We're not looking at a washout any particular day in the next week, but there is the opportunity that one or two thunderstorms could pop up as we get some more moisture in the pattern and not the bone dry weather that we've had here the past couple of weeks as well. Definitely nice to see these temperatures here in the month of May in West Virginia.